few minutes talking about a very intriguing role called the Small Business Affiliate, otherwise known as SBA. So this is our resource guide and we'll spend a few minutes going through what an SBA does, how they get paid, and hopefully you can come to a conclusion that we should collaborate to help small businesses in your community. So let's go ahead and get started. So why does this matter? Well, first of all, it's important to understand that we work very closely with a 501c3 that has received grant funding to help small businesses access capital. And that's a big deal, right? Almost all small businesses want to need capital to start to grow, to reach their potential. Now we work with different types of business to business professionals, but especially licensed insurance agents. There are licensed insurance agents across the nation and sometimes that's a competitive space. It can be difficult to differentiate oneself, to be able to, to generate the leads, the small businesses to work with. Well, in our model, small business agents, uh, insurance agents are actually able to teach our curriculum, which we'll talk about, access to capital. So we have the programming to help the small business owners, and then we have the distribution model to work with local licensed life insurance agents to help them differentiate themselves. Now, what's really interesting, you may know this, but not everyone does, for SBA loans and many different types of business loans, the lender requires a life insurance policy on anyone that owns 20% or more of the business. Why is that? Because if those key persons or person were to die, then they know that the risk of default is very high. So in most cases, there's going to be a life insurance policy, commonly referred to as a key person policy, set up as a collateral assignment. That's another benefit of collaborating, is that we need the agents that's gonna write these policies. So when it comes down to financial success, whether you're a, a restaurant, an insurance professional, or a plumber, we need leads. Leads are the key in the beginning of the sales funnel. Well, with that being said, life insurance agents sometimes will spend money. They'll literally go out and, and buy leads, and depending upon if they're exclusive or not, if they're a warm transfer or not, they, they could easily be $25 to $100 per lead with no guarantee of, of conversion. Well, our model reverses that, really spins it on its head. Instead of charging insurance agents that we're working with as small business affiliates, we actually pay them to prospect rather than buying leads. Now, as I mentioned earlier, our model is to educate. And when we start with education, teaching the access to capital class, now the small business affiliate, the life insurance agent, is in front of a room of 10, 20, 30, or more small business owners that's here to listen to your message, to get to know you. And so as you can understand, that's a value, of course, in helping them get involved with our program, which you'll be paid for, which we'll discuss as we go along, but also now you've had, you have a credible relationship you're a resource in your community for small businesses. And of course, there's many other ways that you can help them beyond our programming. We realize that. And as I mentioned a moment ago, in most cases, if, if you help a client get plugged into our program, you don't have to go convince them of an insurance sale. It's part of the underwriting criteria for most SBA and most business loans that the small business owner has a policy. And what's really nice is in many cases, those policies will be set up as an annual pay, not a monthly pay. So that way you have a much less risk of chargeback. And if they don't comply with maintaining that policy, they would be putting their loan in jeopardy. So it's, it's a really good policy to start a client with. And then certainly beyond that, you can look for other opportunities to help them, of which we're not involved. Maybe they have partners so they could benefit from a buy-sell policy. Maybe they have retirement funds or need retirement funds and so forth. Now we have a very credible program and we're proud to announce that we are an accredited business with a Better Business Bureau and have an A plus rating. 
our programming or our processes, the concept was developed by people in this space, including SCORE mentors, SBDC advisors, and business bankers to fill this gap, to fill this void. There are so many small businesses that want and need capital. And frankly, there's a whole lot of lenders of which we're not, we are not a lender, but there's a, a gap a void between them working together. And that's what we've solved. We've created a bridge. And I'll tell you more about that here in a subsequent slide. We use curriculum from the FDIC that's promoted by the Small Business Administration. So again, that is credible. And we have a really strong leadership team. Karen Thompson is our general counsel. Uh, I'm in charge of education. I'm a college professor by background, used to be an SBDC advisor, was the school mentor workshop chair for North Texas. Chuck Vanderbilt is not a loan broker, but he is an SBA lender, a true lender, and also was with the SBDC. Aristotle heads up our programming for veterans. And Aristotle is an Army reservist. He is a licensed insurance agent in, in numerous states, jumps out of perfectly good planes as, as airborne, but uh, he heads up our, our veterans programming. And then we're looking to build nationally state directors. And so if you're interested in a leadership position, of course, there's no cost. If you're interested in a leadership position, let's visit about maybe you serving that role in your state as a state director. All right, so let's drill into what in the heck we do. So we are providing TA, which I'll come back to, for pre-launch, startup, and small businesses. So in other words, they can just, the small business owner can have a concept, they can have started, or they can be operating. But I'll tell you that, that the greatest need in the marketplace is in this space. And we're gonna define startup the way that most lenders do as two years or less in business. So we're not restricted, but it's important, right? When you have a business model, you need to know who is your target market. So our target market for small business affiliates are licensed life insurance agents or people that desire to become a licensed life insurance agent. Not exclusive to that. We work with business coaches and CPAs, and website developers and others, but our target audience for our distribution model our life insurance agents, and our target market for small businesses are pre-launch and startup. But again, we work with existing mature small businesses as well. Now, what is TA? That stands for technical assistance. That's a, a, a specific vocab vocabulary term, especially used in the SBA lending space. So we're helping build the loan package because without a loan package, we probably won't get approved for funding. Now, I hinted towards this earlier, what our model resolves to create that bridge that we were talking about that's needed between the, the interested borrowers and the interested lenders, the small businesses and the bankers, is we, we, we cross resolve the two key barriers. Number one, most small business owners do not know what the right type of capital is for their mitigating circumstances. Often they'll say, oh, I, I can't access money. They're, they're, I don't qualify. Well, you don't qualify for what? There's many different sources of capital. We do a whole lot with SBA loans, microloans, 7A, 7A Express, 504. Again, I used to work for the SBDC. I was paid directly by an SBA grant. So we're really good at SBA loans. But not everyone will qualify right away for an SBA loan they may need to work towards that. So there's other sources of capital, lines of credit, um, unsecured business financing, things called ROBS plans. There's a variety of different sources of capital and that's the first question that needs to be addressed to be successful in accessing capital is what is, what is my plan for my capital raise? And it may in fact include multiple steps or tranches to get there. The second issue is most small business owners don't meet the underwriting criteria. And so of course that's a problem. That could even be the uses of funds, how they propose to use the money. Even though they may qualify completely in all other aspects, they may not meet the underwriting criteria when it comes to how they propose to use the money. So their application gets rejected. 
What we know is we need at least, what, a 165 FICO to get an SBA loan, a FICO SBSS. Most small business owners have no idea what their FICO SBSS is, right? Because they have the consumer mindset. No one's out teaching this. Together, you and I, we can go out and teach this together and help provide the education. And in many cases, about one out of two that we educate will then become a participant. The way that we do what we do is transparent and we have a 10 step process. And if you actually go to our website, innovativecapitalstrategies.com, and you'll see it here at the end, there's a YouTube video on the Capital Ready Package page that shows the 10 steps and it always works. We in fact guarantee at least a hundred thousand dollar capital raise. Now that shocks people, right? They say there's no way that you can guarantee anyone a hundred thousand dollar capital raise. That's too good to be true. Well, if you're ill informed, then that's the conclusion you may come to. But if you understand our model looks at all sources of capital, our secret sauce is even if someone does not qualify for any other source of capital, we can in fact use business credit, accessing the credit worthiness of their EIN. So it's absolutely credible, legitimate, and real. We can help any small business raise 100,000. That does not mean that we can get them 100,000 tomorrow or necessarily next week or necessarily within the first month. Now our goal is to always, whenever possible, to help get at least interim funding within the first 30 days but we're, we're, we're taking that client from where they are and helping them get to where they need to be. And where they are now has nothing to do with what, with what we've contributed or what you've done. It's just their life decisions. But the bottom line is 10 step process always works, minimum of $100,000 capital rates. And again, we do not compete with banks, credit unions and lenders. We're not a lender. The world doesn't need another lender. We are the TA the technical assistance. So they qualify for the sources of capital and get funded. All right, so when we talk about classes, I think it's interesting for you to understand how we go about doing the access to capital classes or workshops, and we kind of use those terms interchangeably. So we like to work with hosts. A host could be a church, a chamber of commerce, a business organization, a business association. Last week I did one in a professional service office. So it's actually a, a bookkeeping office. So these folks provide different administrative services and QuickBooks support and so forth. Uh, co-working spaces uh, every month we've been doing a workshop and access to capital class in a specific co-working space. But regardless of the type of host, we set up an affinity agreement. So don't confuse that with affiliate. You would be an affiliate. An affinity partner is an organization that has a sphere of influence. And of course, hypothetically, you could be both. But the bottom line is we do a revenue share model with the churches, the chambers, the business organizations, and so forth. Now, what they do is they're going to do two things. They're going to provide the space, the physical space for the the class, the access to capital class, and they also invite, get the butts in the seats, if you will. And that makes sense, right? Because the church has their congregation. They know how to reach their congregation. You and I don't have to figure that out. Chambers have chamber members. They know how to reach out to their chamber members. You and I don't have to recreate the wheel. So working with hosts that are commonly set up as an affinity partner works really well. Now, we are not MLM or network marketing, which we'll reiterate through the presentation, but we do have override commissions and these folks get paid just like you get paid. And so then you would come in if you decide to teach the classes, which you don't have to, but if you want to teach the classes, then you'll go in and teach the one hour curriculum and then help the clients write the key life policies. We are not asking you to learn how to raise business capital in-house we'll take care of all the work that needs to be done you're just the, and not to minimize it but you're the conduit out in the community to spread the word and create awareness and from that you're paid generously and you get credible and valuable exposure 
that can aid in the increase of your other services. So from a process flow, let's just look at it this. So we go out and we create a host. We typically use the affinity proposal. You'll just, uh, you don't have to even explain the proposition in your community to affinity partners. You'll get them the proposal, facilitate a three-way call, and we'll explain and answer questions. The host provides the space and the audience. We provide the access to capital workshop, which we've talked about. That's one hour. We'll manage the registration so it's easy. You show up and present. Now, on average, and, and this isn't some too good to be true or get rich scheme, but on average, you'll generate about $10,000 from each class you teach. How that's calculated is we'll average 20 attendees per class, we'll average 50% conversion, and as you see as we go along, you generate on average $1,350 per conversion. So I'm not saying that you'll teach the class and you walk out and all of a sudden you have $10,000 in your pocket, that's too good to be true. But in terms of the results of that teaching that one hour class, you can reasonably anticipate generating $10,000 or more. What we want to do, of course, is identify the clients that are suitable and get them in the capital ready program. And so that's where we go do the work. You get them set up on the key person policy and, and you get paid and we'll go into details on that. So it's, it's frankly quite simple. Now, I will let you know that we can enroll and often do enroll small business owners without them going through the class. The class is an effective way to educate them, but it's not a prerequisite. It's not a requirement. They can just simply go to our website or we can provide you a replicated website. They enroll and, and then you're paid and they get the services that they're expecting. All right. Now, as I mentioned, we are not network marketing or MLM, but we do have a strong override commission structure. So what that means is if you want, you can go out and do this, which we hope we can collaborate, but also you can build a team of sub affiliates and earn overrides. So this is a real example right here and, and, the, and the names are real. So for example, we have Harvey, who's a, a great gentleman. We've been working with uh, Harvey for probably about two years. He's a licensed insurance agent, and uh, we've done a number of workshops and that together. But most importantly, in this example, he referred in Lou. Lou's a real person. And we got Lou $150,000 of capital. Well, Harvey, the small business affiliate, gets $1,500, 1% of that, plus writing the key person policy and, of course, the ongoing client relationship, which probably is worth $10,000 plus to a an astute insurance professional. So Harvey made 1500, Lou got his 150,000, but Sean, who doesn't even know Lou, frankly, recruited Harvey. So Harvey is a sub affiliate of Sean. Sean also gets 1500. And so what's the lesson here? Well, you may, in fact, if, if you have a, a leadership mentality, you may want to be a Sean and we may want to work together to bring on lots of Harveys because I know, you know, $1,500 isn't going to make you or break you, but that is essentially passive money from one client. And for Sean, that's completely passive income because Sean didn't do anything to influence Lou. Sean just brought Harvey on. So what happens if, if Harvey does this a few times a month or a few times a week? What if Sean has dozens or hundreds of Harveys, well, then you can see that it becomes really adult money. So there's a significant opportunity to generate income by helping small business owners directly. And then secondly, you certainly have an opportunity to earn overrides. All right, and so this is a little bit of a busy slide, but the bottom line is the program works. Uh, we work with a variety of different lenders, SBA and otherwise, and this is an example of a, a funding offer for a little over 300,000 for a client. All right, so the analogy that we use is, is this is like hooking your hose to a running faucet. So, you know, we propose to become a business development program for you, a lead generator, whereby you can hook your hose to a, a running faucet. Again, I've been licensed since 96 and, and we work not exclusively, but, but 
but with a lot of licensed insurance agents. And so I don't know one one hundredth of what you do, but what I can tell you from a strategic perspective is you're probably looking at three different factors when you're deciding what should I be doing differently to grow my book of business? Because I know everyone's busy, but rarely are we as busy, are we generating as much income as we want to from how busy we are. So the three factors, number one, I think you would want to look for a monster market. Now there's over 28 million small businesses and there's new ones starting every day and most of them need capital. We provide free leads. We can give you the Excel list of new start businesses in your area at no cost. The DBAs, the LLCs, the C Corps, the S Corps, that's part of our value proposition is to provide that to you for free. So there's a need out there, a monster market, and it's growing. It's just, are, are you working with them or not? The second factor that you may want to be considering is, does your method of generating leads offer an unfair competitive advantage? Well, ours certainly does. The combination of our grant funded programming with the $100,000 guarantee is a unique competitive advantage that you can leverage. And then secondly, is the business model something that, that you can plug into? Absolutely. In, in our case, we're asking you, would you consider teaching these classes full of small business owners? It's put together by a host and you teach, you get paid, you write the key person policies and you're creating client relationships. And, and it's free to be an affiliate, by the way, which we'll highlight in a moment. So again, if you can find a better business development model than this, let us know and we'll be happy to share it. With, with the many, many agents that contact us saying, wow, I do want to do this. I want to be active in my community and I want to make more money. So how do you make money? Well, we talked about the writing, the key life policies, and we are not getting involved in your pocket. So you pick the product, you pick the carrier, you keep 100% of the commissions. There's no strings attached on that. So that alone, I think is probably a reason to work together. Uh, of course, then by developing the relationships, there's other policies and other asset protection and wealth building options that you may be able to help those clients with. That's between you and them. Secondly, as we teach the one hour access to capital class, you earn on average the 10 grand. And we talked about the math, of math for that. Now, the way that that's broken down is here. So this is important. Here's the comp schedule, if you will. Each time a client enrolls, you're paid 100 up front, and I know that's not a big deal, but that, that's a start. 250 more when they submit the refundable deposit. The clients have a refundable deposit that they pay to us to put together their loan package, and that's refunded back to them as they complete the process. And so if you decide to be a client as well as an affiliate, this is kind of a bonus option. Otherwise, you would just make the first and third bullets which is still sizable. And then the third source of income is 1% of their capital raise. So we saw in the case of Lou, Lou got 150,000, Harvey got 1% of that, which is 1,500. And then again, Sean got 1% of that, which is 1,500. And we actually pay three levels deep. Then you can also earn overrides from sub-affiliate production. And that comes off the second and third bullets, not the first. We're only paying out the $100 to the, the writing agent, if you will. And then if you would like, but here on number four, we need local leaders. And if you want to be a local leader, we can work together to set up the trainings because any of our affiliates that are going to teach the class need to be trained. We need to confirm that they understand the content, have mastery of the content, and are competent and capable to teach our curriculum because we won't be there with them. They'll be teaching it in front of the, the small groups on their own. So for affiliates to become certified, they go through a one day training, which we'll talk more about in a moment. If you would like to help facilitate those trainings in your market or other markets, you can earn an extra $5,000 for each of those trainings. And we could do that once a month. We could do that once a quarter. We could we'd go around the country together and, and do that once a week. Uh, we'll provide the training. Uh, we'll pay for the room, of course. What you're doing is, is facilitating getting the word out to affiliates to, to fill the seats for the training. So again, this is different than the access to capital class 
where we're working with small business owners, here we're talking about if you want to help us build the distribution model. All right, so how are you trained? So again, you gotta come back to this decision tree. Do you wanna be certified or, or not? Doesn't matter to us, we, we need both. If you don't want to be certified, we can do it over the phone, via email. We'll have you ready to go in about an hour. You'll be ready to start generating income and helping small businesses in less than 60 minutes. Simple, simple, simple. You refer in clients and you get paid just on that model we just talked about. We can work together to go develop affinity relationships. I'll tell you, churches, places of worship are really an untapped opportunity. Look at what Dave Ramsey has done with Financial Peace University, with personal financial literacy. What you and I can do together is business financial literacy. And the revenue share often resonates really well with pastors and, and faith-based leaders because that's a new stream of income for their organization to be able to, to do more good work. And again, I mentioned uh, the, the leads are free and, and those are primarily newly started businesses that are great to reach out to. And if you're teaching to invite them into the workshops. Okay, now, so this was scenario one. And then scenario two would be if you want to become certified. And if, if you do, in that case, we need to attend the one day in-person class. We're in the process of setting those up around the, the nation. So once you're on board as an affiliate, we'll keep you abreast of upcoming classes. And then you could attend that one day class. Then you'd be able to teach the access to capital class in your community. Again, not a requirement, but it is a great way to generate a large funnel. And then also when you're teaching the access to capital classes, there's a snowball effect that occurs because now you're going to have key influencers that start to attend CPAs, bankers, and others. So the last workshop I did was a week ago, Tuesday, and I mentioned it, it was in the office of a, essentially a, a QuickBooks expert and the chamber sent four represent the local chamber, which was not involved with that class sent four representatives, the executive director, the president and two board members. They loved it. Two of those four are now clients. One of those four is now an affiliate. And now we have an affinity proposal into the chamber, which will be reviewed later this month. So we can actually roll out official affinity program. What's the point? Good things happen when you're visible, when you're out in the community educating, People like that, it, it's an easy and low stress way for them to come meet you, get to know you and learn the message. And so I encourage you to consider becoming certified and teach the class, but it's not required. If you just simply want to be not certified and do that role, that's fine too. Okay, so let's kind of wrap it up. What is the proposition summary of being a small business affiliate? Well, number one, there's no cost to be an affiliate. I told you, if you want to get trained, there's a cost for training, but there's no cost to become an affiliate. It's a great way to get plugged in with, and work with local small business owners, right? Those key person policies that are needed. And instead of paying for prospects, we'll pay you to prospect. You earn on average $13.50 per small business that you refer in that, that works with us. And then of course, by having that credible relationship with the small business owner, now you have opportunities to offer other ways to help them protect their assets, grow their wealth, whatever it is you offer. We have outstanding override commissions. Unlike normal override commissions that diminish or get smaller for non-directly produced revenue, ours is even. And so that offers an incredible opportunity to team build if you care to. And then, as I mentioned, you have the option to get certified and teach these classes if you want. No requirement to do so. All right. Well, we've covered a lot of information in, in a relatively short time. I'm thankful for the 30 minutes that you spent with me learning more. Certainly, if you go to our website, you can go to the Capital Ready Package and learn more about the 
the small business owner proposition. There's a YouTube video there. If you go to the career page, you can see the job description of the small business affiliate. You can see the outline of what we go through with the certification training. So again, thank you for your time. I hope that we have an opportunity to work together and help small businesses in your community. Have a great day. Thank you.